How you doing? You alright? It's Poet. It's David. We're here for the Battle of Atlanta. It is Georgia Revolution versus the Atlanta Silverbacks. We're here to learn more about the game of football in America. So we have come to this game. We're going to learn more about the Silverbacks. We're going to meet the manager, maybe the players. We're here, pre-match. We're joined by Brian Haynes. Really hot, Brian. Uh, what are we expecting to see today? Is it the first team? It's not the first team. It's, um, it's a bunch of um, a trialists with my reserve players. They have got to prove that since they've been here from this last year till now, that they've improved and they're willing to make a step up to, to play on the first team. Who are you playing today? I mean, I've had like a local derby. Yeah, you call it a local derby because they've, I don't think it's ever been a game that we've played against them that we've won by, one, by more than one. Always game. tight. Always yeah. tight. Every time we've come down here, we've won. And so they've always wanted to well, one-up us. Themselves. And I love the game because these guys come out and give their all. Yeah. And the good thing about tonight is my players are not going to be the quote-unquote starters, so these guys got something to prove. The North American Soccer League, it's the second division of uh, professional soccer here in America. It's a split season format. The first season was 12 games, uh, and then the second season, the New York Cosmos are coming in. So we're actually, it's gonna be a 14 game season. And what happens is, if you win the first season, okay. you're automatically in the final for the rest of the, um, for the, for the last okay. game of the year. Okay. In a one-off championship game, not aggregate or anything, just one-off championship game in November. But here's the thing, last year, before we came to this league, we were, you heard that song started from the bottom, now yeah, we're here? Bottom, yeah, well, here. that's where we were. We were bottom last year. We might have had a stretch of five games where we were either tied or, or winning, uh, you know, going into the last five, ten minutes, and we would concede one, two goals. When we played 13 games, uh, when I became the general manager, we'd won one game. We lost the next game, so we had we played 14 and won one game. Let's be fair. Uh, a couple a couple seasons ago, it wasn't too good. Uh, it wasn't that good of a product to come and watch. All the predictions that we read about us were we're going to be last, Again. second to last. Before you came in, uh, one and a half years ago, the team was bottom. What has changed? What have you specifically kind of done? to make the team reach this kind of pinnacle in a way. Well, I did one thing. I okay. brought in Eric. Eric, Eric, right? yeah. Eric, I think he's the third leading scorer in, in US national team history. After his playing career, he, he's kind of pretty well known for uh, for being a, a pundit on Fox Soccer and ESPN. And uh, I, give him, I give him all the credit of starting it. Obviously, Brian Haynes and the team. Eric, he looked at the players, he, he changed the culture, you know? It was a losing environment, it was an unhappy environment. Um, and Eric changed all that. We, it was a motivation for us, and we felt like we had to prove something. Yeah. And we did, and the guys, they, I mean, they deserve all the credit. Pretty awesome to see the growth since pretty much starting the, the club and back up in three months. I'm satisfied. I'm happy for these guys. Yeah. And I remember going into the locker room and writing on the board, I'm proud of every single one of you guys. And when, the, when it came up that we won the whole thing, was I surprised? Not really, because I felt we deserved it. You know, not a lot of people expected us to make it to the top, but a lot of the guys we just pushed through and at the end of the season we came up on top. And then now we're, uh, you know, NASL spring season champions and selling out games and, and really, you know, showing a pretty yeah. tremendous amount of growth. What are your ambitions now? Do you want to echo what you've done last season? Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I think we're still going to have to have Of course, they're going to say, oh, it was a fluke. So the motivation now is, Okay, so they said what they said last year. Now, there's a big old target on your back. And everybody's coming after you now. What are you gonna do about it? We want players that are hungry to succeed and, and have a success story and take that to the next level. Yeah. Look, all the teams prepare it the same way. They prepare just as hard, they work on the same tactics, they work on the same techniques, they do it over and over. At the end of the day, the team that wants it more is the one that's gonna win it. 